we go 0-1 on the three best prop bets last week. Yes, I give you guys three. Only one of them ended up having an official result of any sort. The Canadian Silva fight ends up getting called off the day before the fight, I believe it was, uh, due to Priscilla Castro missing weight significantly. And then uh, the Bobby Green by KO almost came through for us. Unfortunately, it was a headbutt that caused the knockout. So that ends up getting changed to a no contest, which means it should have been a official push on anybody who took action on that fight. And then obviously the Ricky Glenn round three could not come through as Christos Siagos delivered a tremendous big bomb to put Ricky da Ricky Glenn down and out I knew I was a little bit skeptical about the guy but I felt if he could get that fight into the late rounds he would have the huge advantage there unfortunately we were unable to see that but as I always do, I got three more best prop bets for you guys for this weekend's UFC Vegas 72 card. A reminder, Cage Warriors 153 also goes down tomorrow. You guys can get all of that information and all those breakdowns on the Patreon a link in the description below. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the three best prop bets. And the first one I'm going to go with is Stephanie Egger inside the distance. You could obviously go under two and a half here as well in case Alex Siva has some sort of finish in her as well but I think that there is going to be a huge skill discrepancy here especially with the strength advantage as well for Stephanie Yeager and having the judo advantage I think she'll be able to drag this fight to the ground and do what she does best either posture up and get a TKO which currently sits at plus 500 for anybody that wants to get specific with it but I'm going to keep open the possibility that she ends up getting a submission and she wins this fight inside the distance so you guys can take that in uh, with Egger to win this fight inside the distance as the first pressed prop. Second up, we're going to go with Martin Budai inside the distance as well. I think he's going to wear on the gas tank here of Jay Collier, really start to get this fight into deep waters, make it into the second, third round, and I believe from there he's going to be able to step on the gas and get my guy Jay Collier out of there. Jay Collier, more experienced, has probably a better pure skill set, but I think that Budai is the better overall fighter here in terms of making fights dirty, having the better cardio, putting on that constant forward pressure, and I think from there he's going to have tremendous success and eventually finish my guy Jay Collier in the last half of this fight. You can target that round two or round three prop as well if you like. And then in the main event, I'm going to go with Song Yadong by knockout. I think that he has a tremendous striking advantage here over Ricky Simone. And Ricky Simone's, you know, wrestling style of striking with those big looping hooks with his blitz attacks are only going to work for a little bit. But I think it's just going to cause Song Yudong one little moment where he can slip onto those and land a beautiful counter to put Ricky Simone down on his butt. Obviously, a lot of this fight will be contested in the clinching and grappling realm with Simone trying to get Song Yudong to the mat. However, I think Song Yudong has shown great defensive grappling during the development throughout his career i believe he's had over 10 fights now in the ufc and has had a plethora of training camps over there uh with the team alpha male guys you see the grappling improvements in his game and he's going to need all of it here against a strong wrestler like ricky simone shuck off the first couple of takedowns keep this fight in the striking room land that big bomb cash that uh song dong via knockout ticket there you guys go three best prop bets for ufc vegas 72 another quick reminder that the cage warriors 153 full card breakdown is on the patreon link in the description below and i will see you guys again next week for the big ufc 288 card headlined by the bantamweight title fight between aljamain sterling and henry saudo oh boy i can't wait for that matchup not to mention a bunch of the great great betting spots that are sprinkled out throughout that fight card again predictions will obviously first drop on the patreon so if you guys want early access to that check that out and then i'll see you guys on monday for the public release of the mma lockcast breaking down that fight in its entirety and that card in its entirety appreciate all the love and support as always hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already and good luck on all your action this weekend folks i'll see you guys on monday peace